In other news, questions regarding individuals culpable in a case involving a man accused of bringing in a fake band from the Philippines to perform at a Filipino bar continues to delay sentencing as District Court Chief Judge Francis Tedinko Gatewood wants a detailed sentencing memorandum from the government. The case involves admissions of guilt, a multitude of surveillance and evidence from those involved in the criminal enterprise which lured Philippine band members to come to Guam under the guise of being performers and then forced them to illegally sell alcoholic beverages at local nightclub Chick Boy. According to the lead investigator in the case, the bar's manager, Techi Torres, admitted to bringing the Faith Cuneta band out, paying for the visas and travel expenses, and making them sell alcohol at $30 a drink. But only Jemuel Luciano was charged by the government, raising questions from Judge Gatewood. The government states that they only had enough evidence to pursue charges against Luciano and that he was the band's sponsor. This raised another question as she also wanted to know how Luciano was approved as a sponsor for the band when he was previously warned in 2011 that his actions were illegal, stating, quote, he used the same M.O. in 2013, end quote. As a result, the judge has ordered the government to provide a detailed sentencing memorandum indicating the following. All culpable parties charged or not charged, the level of culpability for each, and information on protocols regarding the flagging of individuals. Luciano is facing zero to six months incarceration. However, his attorney, John Gorman, is requesting eight days in light of the culpable parties not charged in the case. Sentencing has been continued to April 11th.